Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make travel vlogs, how to's, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. I am currently on my 8,000 mile loop of the United States that I have dubbed Flight of the Magpie. If you haven't checked out the first couple episodes, I will link them above my head somewhere. My brother and I are in the middle of Eastern Montana, somewhere between Billings and Brodus. We are on our way to Devil's Tower this morning. We're uh, hoping to make it to Badlands by this afternoon. Fingers crossed. We left the hotel this morning. We stole as many snacks as we could from the breakfast buffet and hit the road good and early because my brother didn't have to wait two hours for me to pack up my camp. <laughs> It has been much more pleasant today, not nearly as hot as it was yesterday. So I'm a little grateful that we were able to grab that hotel room in Billings because having a nice shower this morning felt really good. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to find some lunch here pretty soon, but I am enjoying it not being like 100 degrees. <laughs> it's been a good day. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Called butt the rest of the day. We ended up in Rapid City pretty late, but we did manage to get my new sprocket and chain from Roscoe's. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to that shop. They went above and beyond trying to help me. This morning we woke up bright and early and got to the business of changing my chain and sprockets in the driveway of our campsite at a KOA. <laughs> Definitely not a place that I ever thought that I would, you know, be changing sprockets in a chain on my bike, but we did it. Yeah, it may have been time to change. <laughs> I want it to be known for the record that I did not ask you to do this. I'm weird. I like it. So shiny and so new. It's not Dan perfect, but it's close. Who's Dan? Dan is um, one of the mechanics that I used to work with at Latest, and I he was helping me do my oil change once, and um, he was following me around while I was doing it, make sure I did it right, and. I pulled stuff off and I wasn't cleaning as I went and he's like, nope, you gotta clean those parts. 
If you take a bike apart and it isn't spotless when you put it back together, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I miss Dan. Yay! Got to experience Deadwood today, which is essentially like Disneyland for me. That was amazing. Um, I'm already planning on going back. From Deadwood, we headed south and we hit Custer State Park to ride the Needles Highway, which was above and beyond expectations. And I'm sure I have more footage of tunnels than I have of anything else. <laughs> From Custer State Park, we booked it to Rapid City and from Rapid City to Wall, South Dakota, where, as you can see from the background behind me, we have uh, found ourselves in a hotel again because Amanda was too lazy to put up her tent in the dark again. And because it's way easier to choose the more comfortable option when you're riding with somebody else. And Gary will be leaving me soon. So I'm fully taking advantage of um, having somebody else to blame for the fact that I'm in a hotel. <laughs> we need to get a little preview of the views that we will get to experience tomorrow in the National Park when we checked out the site that I had planned for us to camp at, um, which is obviously a very popular van life destination. I've learned nothing from the pilgrimage. I don't know how many of you have watched the like top five things that I learned from the pilgrimage, but one of those things is that if you want to eat food, not in the dark, that you need to find a campsite before seven. And it was after seven when we got to the designated campsite that I had found. So, <laughs> lessons have not been learned, obviously need to be relearned. So I'm working on that. In the meantime, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. If you would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these ad-free before the rest of the world sees them over on my Patreon. Links to that are down in the description. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I do have stickers, t-shirts, prints, all the good things with my motorcycle art on them over in my Rebel shop. Links to that are also down in the description. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, I 100% understand. I appreciate you guys just for being here and watching these videos every single week. In the meantime, guys, I will see you later. Question for my end screen crew. 
have you ever found yourself somewhere on a trip and just like known those are your people? Because that's the way that I feel about Deadwood. And Virginia City. I love Virginia City, Montana. That just place just has my heart. <laughs> anyway, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you later.